Dozed off after I did. <laughs> Cause we got too comfortable. Mm. I feel so much better. Ah, thank goodness that's over with. I hate fevers. I mean, I guess anyone would. Who the hell would like having a fever? Hmm. Anyway, while you're here, want me to make us some. Wait, Alpha, are you okay? You don't look good. I don't think I've ever seen you that pale before. Oh no. I told you you'd get this. I told you this would happen. Nope, mm -mm. I told you, totally called it. You caught whatever I had and now you're sick. There's no playing this one off, Alpha. I mean, oh, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast there. You're not going anywhere like this. If you caught what I had, you're absolutely not going to make it through the day like normal. Please lie down and stay in bed. It's not nothing, sir. It's a fever coupled with a raging headache. Hell, it could be worse for you than it was for me. I, okay, don't sass me. Yeah, I got off of the bed, but I only moved like a meter to sit in a chair next to the window. You're trying to go out and do strenuous work. Blah, blah, blah. no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, please, just stay in bed. I don't mind if you use my bed. In fact, this just makes it easier for me to take care of you. Good. I'm glad you're not going to fight me on this. Now, how long have we been asleep for? Oh, well, I don't think there's much point in you going out anyway. The day's kind of already over with from the looks of it. But I guess that's just all the more reason for you to stay in bed. Yeah, you probably did miss a lot of work, but you can worry about that later. Right now, you're in no condition to be working. I can guarantee you'll probably pass out the moment you get back home. That's what happened to me. Oh, <laughs> you must be hungry. Well, the soup you brought has kind of gone cold now. Sorry about that. Let me make you something to eat. Um, sit right there and uh, don't think about trying to sneak off. All right, I hope you like turkey sandwiches and vegetable juice, because that's what you're getting. <laughs> You've never tried vegetable juice before? Well, let's see how you like it. Here, let me just prop you up a bit so you don't end up pouring the juice on your face. Okay, try not to move around too much. I'm getting the tray on your lap. Here, give it a try. Do you like it? Oh, I'm glad you like it. Um, though when you're eating the sandwich, try not to get crumbs on the bed. I'm gonna have to wash the these sheets later, you know, since, I mean, two sick people <laughs> slept in it, but I'd still rather not deal with crumbs in my bed. Just a bit of a pet peeve, if you don't mind. I'll be back in a sec. You just enjoy that vegetable juice. Oh, and I'll leave the sandwich here for you. All right. I'm already noticing you're looking pretty uncomfortable, so I brought some ice water and a cloth for you. Okay, hold your head still for me. There. Feels better, right? <laughs> mm. 
Well, he did it for me not too long ago. How's the sandwich? Oh, I put it too far from you. Sorry. Here, let me get it for you. Go ahead. Take a bite. Is it good? You like that I toasted it? Well, it's how I like mine. So it's cool to know you have a similar sandwich preference. All right. Tilt your head a little for me. There. Now I'll just leave it on there for a bit and actually, I still have some salt pain we can use. Here, one sec. Okay, about two spoonfuls and that should make the wolf calm down. You know how the body growing weak can make that side fierce. Okay. This is probably going to taste terrible, but open your mouth for me. <laughs> yeah, it tastes terrible, doesn't it? Don't worry, you uh, only have to do it once more. <laughs> okay, yeah, open up. Meow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just always wanted to do that. I'm sure it didn't make it taste much better. Here, I'm sure some more vegetable juice will make uh, that terrible taste go away. Here. <laughs> As I thought. Well, I'm glad you at least enjoy the vegetable juice enough to finish it. Hmm? What do you have to be sorry for? Oh. Don't worry about it, Alpha. You were just here to help me get better. Even if I totally told you this would happen, it's still sweet that you wanted to help me. And hey, I am feeling a lot better now thanks to you. It's only fair I return the favor. Besides, I'm the Omega. It's kind of my favorite thing to make sure you're nice and comfortable. I can't help but want to take care of you, you know? It's no problem. So, uh... What do you think of my room, by the way? Yeah, I do keep a lot of plants. I guess caring for things is just in my nature. And I do read a lot. As you can probably tell from the two bookcases in here, I like to think of it as a library in the trees sort of aesthetic. Look, I even have a money plant over there by the window. Yeah. A money plant. And before you ask, no, it doesn't grow money. <laughs> yes, you were. And I knew you were going to ask that because everyone that visits me asks that. But in all seriousness, it does actually, at least I think, help predict your finances. Yeah, well, theoretically. I think it might be a superstition, but some people believe that a money plant can help you predict your financial ups and downs. And they say when it begins to wilt, it means that your money gains might run a bit dry. And if it grows bigger and more vibrant, you might actually find yourself gaining more money in the future. I think it might just be superstitious nonsense, but well, I take care of my plant, so you never know. Maybe one day I'll get rich thanks to this plant. Oh? <laughs> Have I piqued your interest in gardening now, sir? <laughs> if you're interested in getting one for yourself, I could give you a few tips on how to take care of it. <laughs> Try not to laugh too hard, Alpha. Your headache went spike. So. Oh, you're right. I did say it again. I'm sorry. Uh, if I might ask, uh, what are you going to do once you get better? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I mean, aside from getting back to work anyway, I mean, 
no doubt there's going to be a ton of stuff to do once you're finally well enough. Oh? Our date? I don't really know why you'd put that on your top priority. You know, I mean, I'm sure you probably have a lot of other things you need to do, like check on Tabitha. Which reminds me, I should probably talk to her as soon as I'm able to, so... I'm sure she's probably pretty scared after what happened. You still haven't talked to her about the moon pack? Well, that makes sense. I doubt she was in any condition to talk when she first was brought in. I mean... Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. You're sick and we shouldn't be discussing work stuff while you're like this. The date? Ah, uh, you're really not going to let that subject slip away, huh? <laughs> well, sure. What exactly did you have planned for the date? You wanted to take me to your old clubhouse? Oh, you mean the one that all the boys would stay at when you were young and no girls were ever allowed in? It was wild idea? <sighs> Sounds about right. He always was kind of a jerk. I'm glad he was sent off to college. It'll be somebody else's problem for a little while at least. But it definitely sounds like an interesting spot. I've always wanted to see what the inside of the clubhouse looked like. You and the other kids hung up a lot of your trophies there, didn't you? Like your first kills? What was your first kill? A rabbit? <laughs> Sounds about right. It might have just been a rabbit, but we've all got to start somewhere, don't we? Mine was a duck, if I remember. We couldn't take its hide, but it did make a great dinner. I even had a few of its feathers put into a little dream catcher above my bed. Well, I didn't make him. My mom did. She was really good at making stuff. And even though she's gone now, well, the dream catcher always reminds me of her and how proud she was when I brought home my first kill. I really miss her. Hmm? Oh, I'd rather not talk about it. I mean, the last thing I want to go and do is make you sick and depressed. Here, let me soak the cloth again for you. There. Nice and cool. Sir, can I ask you a question? Well, uh, this might sound weird, but why me? I mean, why are you interested in me? I mean, I know we talked about this a bit earlier, but I don't know why you'd ever show interest in someone like me. I just, I'm not strong, I can't really fight, and all I really know to do is be a caregiver, and I'm boring and dull, and I get sick so easily, and I just, I don't see why you would want to now. I, oh, I didn't, I don't, uh, okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Sir. But I... Okay, sir. I, uh... You care for me because I'm caring. And whether or not I'm boring and dull is for you to decide. Uh... Um... <laughs> well, that's reassuring, sir. <laughs> I, uh... Look at that, you finished your sandwich. Let me go get you another one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm back with another sandwich. 
Av, are you okay? No. You've fallen asleep on me. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave this by the bed then. Hmm. I don't know what you see in me, Alpha. But if you're dead set on making me your Luna, I guess I should stop doubting myself. Saying you made a poor decision by picking me of all people would be an insult to your ability as the Alpha. And you're anything but a poor Alpha. You're a horrible influence on me, sir. Crawling into bed with me is exactly how you got sick. And now, here I am doing the same thing to you. You have an uncanny knack for getting people on your side, you know that. I guess that's why I can't help but love you, damn it. How's it? Whenever I'm close to you, I just can't help but feel really at peace. Oh. Outside of when you go and make me all flustered, which has been becoming more frequently lately. <laughs> I swear you do it on purpose, too. <laughs> I just woke up and I'm already sleepy again. And I barely even did anything either. I know you didn't ask. But I hope you'll let me cuddle up with you. You seem like to. I doubt you'll complain much. Mm. Get well soon. <laughs>